Hi everybody, it's Dr. Modi Charter back again for another hoot. The breeding season's basically over in Israel. We have the pigeons, but the pigeons breed all year round. Uh, their breeding season's a little bit weird. Uh, so we got the two pairs of pigeons breeding. In the Florida cameras, we have a, a pair of barn owls uh, courting quite intensively. Another male in the other box trying to find a mate. The griffin vulture nesting sometimes comes back in Israel. We have uh, 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 the gr Egyptian uh, um, fruit bat cameras back online, which is cool. One of the vulture feeding stations, we have a hyena and a wolf that's coming by. So even though the breeding season's not here, there's still lots of stuff to see. First and foremost, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like this content, please subscribe. Let's get into it. We're here in Barnow, Florida, cam number two. There's a lone male. He does not seem to have a mate. That's why he's calling. He's trying to attract a female to his box. Thus far, not very successful. He's doing his best. Uh, this is the summertime. The chances of a barn owl breeding is not that great anyway. It's probably wait until the fall time. So this poor guy is coming every night and just trying to find a mate. So hopefully he'll find one soon. Uh, really cute. In comparison to this, in, in Florida, barn owl cam number one, we do have a pair. And these guys are courting uh, a lot and even mating. Um, so this pair seems to be very dedicated to one, in, one each to each other. Really, really cute. Uh, you can see it. They're over the more of aggressive phase. Now they're definitely in the pootsie mootsie phase. You got some preening and, and lots of calling and... Uh, really, really cute. Once a male starts bringing food, then the, the chances of the female laying will increase. We haven't seen that yet. So keep an eye out for this camera. Uh, both of the Florida cameras. Hopefully we'll have two breeding pairs soon. We're in a uh, common kestrel cam. Uh, pigeons uh, already had four broods. The pair is courting again. This is and uh, actually was a there was a predation by miners already. Uh, the last uh, brood succeeded in fledging too young, and here the female is about to lay egg number one of clutch number five of the year of 2025. Very productive pair. Uh, even though they've had the difficulties, see uh, giving a. Uh, Laying an egg can be quite painful. You can see as you're trying to push that egg out. So it's always amazing that we're able to see these uh, things live. Oh, there you go. There, there's the egg. Very, very cute. The females should be laying the second uh, leg egg e either today or tomorrow. Uh, but in time being, she's coming by and uh, looking over that at that egg. Uh, protecting it, which is always great to see. In uh, Barnell Cam number four, we have a pigeon pair. And they, here, they're under six brood with two nestlings. Uh, the pair are courting. This is a very dramatic box here. Lots of stuff going on. We have the griffin vulture nestling coming back sometimes. He basically fled. He had some uh, small issues with parasites. Uh, luckily, the moderators caught it, and he was brought to the veterinarian save so keep an eye out for him really cool to watch we have the egyptian fruit bats hanging around these are wild fruit bats in the universe at tel aviv university of yossi yuval that they roost inside of this room uh there he does some research on them but at nighttime they're free to go and come as they please watch these cute little flying um dog looking cute little creatures really really cute for egyptian fruit bats and we had a, a very nice surprise, a striped hyena, uh, which they're solitary, but very strong uh, animals that you don't get to see them. They're very, very shy, stay away from people. Beautiful, beautiful, large animals, wild wild animals that mainly scavenge. Uh, here we see the, the uh, griffin vulture cam number two. And we even, uh, here, oh, here we have some Egyptian vultures, which are endangered globally and critically endangered in Israel, uh, coming by to eat up some scraps at this feeding station. Always great to see. And here we got to see something amazing. An Arabian wolf was at the feeding station also. But you can see in the background there, you have the striped hyena. And he sees them 
And the striped hyena is much stronger than the wolf. The wolf says, you know, thank you, but I'm not going to fight with this huge hyena. So he moves off. Uh, the hyena doing, showing the dominance here and going in to eat. The, these uh, scavengers are very important. They're basically cl the cleaning crew and clean up all different carcasses so we don't have diseases. Super important role, part of the uh, Open Wings project of the Israel Nature Park Authority here. The Arabian wolf comes back, looks like a dog, amazing. Uh, sits there and wait, waits his turn, waits for the striped hyena to finish eating. Only after will he think about coming to eat. He does not want a, fi a direct fight with the hyena physically larger and, and stronger. But at some point, the hyena had enough, walks off um, slowly, not no, in no rush. And after that, the Arabian wolf comes back to have an uh, 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 early breakfast uh, before going to sleep during the daytime. So these things are great. You get to see all these live events on our live cam. So I really hope you like this video. As I initially said, not as much is going on. This is the non-breeding season. Courtship is also always great to see. And we got some, uh, see hyenas and other cool stuff uh, that we typically don't see on this channel. So I hope, I want to thank you all first and foremost for all your timestamps, your participation in the channel. If you like this content and you're able to help, we really need your donations. I add a link in the description. And thank you for all the people that donated. The moderators, you guys are the best. I could not do this without you. I have no idea how hard they work also behind the scenes. Um, so they're li literally the best. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep on watching. Hope you later.